What is going on everybody? It's Ryan with Tundra4x4.club. It is TDS Truck Haven weekend. We are in route right now. Just fueled up. We're a little bit behind schedule. This was uh, more of a Murphy's Law kind of day, but uh, we're heading to Truck Haven, so let's do it. If this is your first time here, we'd like to say welcome. Go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon so you know when we do other videos. But, uh, so TDS Truck Haven. TDS stands for Tierra Del Sol. They are an off-roading club, predominantly Jeep, but uh, all vehicles apply. We had a great time last year. Uh, this year we're only going up for two back-to-back -back day trips versus camping out. But uh, hopefully we can run into a couple of you guys out there. I brought some shirts, uh, we've got some stickers, and I just want to show you in this video kind of what happens at Truck Haven. It is an off-road park where you have different obstacles for you know different things depending on uh, your vehicle and maybe your level of expertise. You can go around and we'll take a look at all these obstacles but uh, you guys let me know down in the comments below. It is a thought of having a meetup at Truck Haven one of these times so let me know if this would be something you guys would be interested in. Uh, later on down the road if we did maybe a group meetup over at Truck Haven. We should be there in about 45 minutes. Let's get on it. So we are here. We have arrived. We are at Truck Haven 2018. Let's go check it out. So, I should really not go down a vendor aisle at one of these things unchaperoned because this happens. So, we went ahead and made the big purchase this weekend. I'm really excited about it. Um, but we picked up our ARB compressor, our air up kit, and we went ahead and ordered the ARB air locker. Because, in case you guys didn't know, if you're searching for a product that you know that you want, that is going to be a future upgrade, and you don't need it right away, if you go to an event in your local area, and there's a vendor's row, you can get a huge discount. So pretty much between all the ARB stuff I just got, including the air locker and the install, I saved anywhere between 20% on the product and 30% on scheduling the install. We knew we were gonna put the ARB air locker on this truck for Project Tundra. So I'd been waiting this entire, you know, I'd say since last year when I was at this event, I've been waiting 12 months to come back and see if I could squeeze a deal. I didn't know if I could or not, but sure enough, I squeezed a deal. It was something I could not say no to. So the ARB air locker, is in route we have the compressor we have the air up kit i'm so excited you know i think what we need to do is probably talk to brandon about uh some brackets so i think that we might do that in the future uh stay tuned for that you know any anyways these events are great for product that you that you want not something that's an immediate need but something that you want just save you know a lot of money wait till you go to a local event and then talk to them, especially on the last day, you can even get a bigger deal on the last day of the event, in my opinion. Okay, on another note, so as I go through and I try to talk to different vendors uh, and see what is available on the market, I'm a big fan of small business. Small business to me, you know, helps the world go round, it helps the economy. So I ran into a guy named Steve Dottie, and Steve is, I believe, the owner of Snevy's Off-Road. Never really heard of him before, to be honest with you. Uh, however, super cool guy. Just a guy just trying to, you know, promote his business. You know, it's windy out here. It's not the best type of climate. However, here's a guy I start talking to, friendly. Uh, I definitely want to start doing business with Steve and Snevies. So because of that, because of that, because I'm a big fan of supporting small business, I told Steve on the spot, look, I need some gear. So I bought a Snevy's hat. So right now we are going to put this on. 
there it is, Snevies. Now, I haven't really had a chance to explore their website yet, but I will tell you just by talking with Steve himself, um, I definitely will be doing business with him. He's just a guy that I wanna support. That's the bottom line. Steve, if you ever do get a chance to watch this video, I wanna thank you, and I will be visiting your website. They handle everything off-road. They're kinda of like four-wheel parts. However, it's a small business, right? So um, I'm gonna be checking them out and seeing what they offer. So Steve, thanks again. Thank you for talking with me. I wanna support your business. All right, so it is miserable. It is windy out here. However, comma, I wanna make sure that I show you guys some of the obstacles out here. We're gonna go watch some vehicles, maybe some carnage, I don't know. Keep in mind, what I want you guys to kinda of be thinking about is, is this a place that you would want to have a meetup in the future. It'd be well planned, uh, you know, with enough time. But this place is usually not this busy, especially off weekends, it is nobody here. So we could easily schedule a meetup out here, have some fun. There's all sorts of different trails. So I want you guys to comment down below here. There are hotels close by uh, and we can just try to figure that out. Let's go take a look at some of these obstacles. I don't know if I'm going to air down and participate, but I do want to film some of these right now, uh, but who knows. All right, so in my opinion, we always go to where the crowd's at, right? So we got a big crowd up on the hill. We're gonna go ahead and check to see what they're doing up there. So that's it, TDS Truck Haven 2018. It's in the books. Uh, I had a good time. So I actually met quite a few Tundra owners out there over the weekend and I uh, enjoyed talking to them. Hopefully they become fans of the page and uh, can be part of what we're about. So that's gonna do it. And until next time, we will catch you guys on the back roads.